So the final entry in Super Mario's 35th anniversary celebration is here in Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Super Mario 3D World is the latest game to be ported from the Wii U to Nintendo Switch, given its original release back in 2013. And Bowser's Fury is a brand new short title to accompany Super Mario 3D World, and these two games offer different sides of the Mario series style. Many people, myself included, missed out on Super Mario 3D World when it first came out nearly eight years ago. The title has been given a new lease of life and a massive audience with Nintendo Switch owners, and it's already shot to the third best-selling Super Mario title on Nintendo Switch, ahead of Super Mario Maker 2, and also new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, but behind Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Super Mario 3D World is pretty much a straight port from the Wii U, albeit a little bit faster. So players can play through the 90 plus levels of platforming, exploration and secrets, and players can play on their own or in full co-op. The sheer number of ideas that are packed into this game is something to behold, from nostalgic platforming similar to the 2D Mario games, to riding the back of a dinosaur on the water, and also chasing shadows in one very clever level. The main new mechanic found in 3D World is the ability to turn into a cat, which allows you to climb walls and attack with your paws. Super Mario 3D World often feels like it's fan-made with a number of nods back to previous Super Mario titles, for example, you got the Fire Flower, the Super Leaf and many more old classic power-ups to be found. Players can be Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach or Toad in another nod back to Super Mario Bros. 2 and at any time another player can jump in and you can play through levels in full co-op mode. And I played much of the game in co-op with my fiance and it was a whole lot of fun. And if you don't have someone to play with in the same location, then this time Nintendo has added full online play so you can play co-op over the internet with friends or family. The co-op is a lot of fun, however, players can drag each other through levels and sometimes this can get a little bit frustrating. You can pick each other up and throw each other off the map, but I don't recommend doing this to your significant other, it might not go down too well. The Super Mario 3D World is a lot of fun either solo or in co-op mode. There's the classic overworld from Super Mario Bros. 3 and World, but this time, instead of being stuck on a linear path, you can simply wander off and find where you want to go. There's swimming, there's ice levels and even a level inspired by Mario Kart. 3D World is much more like the gameplay of a 2D classic Mario Bros. game like Super Mario Bros. 1 to 3. The path is linear and there's a timer and it's also very fast. So holding down the Y button on Nintendo Switch gives Mario a little speed boost. There's also a little visual indicator that is running fast. This is much more of a return to the classic style of Mario that we've had in the past. And if you missed this one the first time round, then I urge you to get hold of this title. Bowser's Fury, on the other hand, is much more in the style of the recent 3D Mario games that we've seen like Super Mario Odyssey, Sunshine and to a certain extent, Galaxy. Bowser's Fury isn't very long, but it's a little taster into Mario of the future. Thematically, Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury are similar, with shared abilities like Mario having the ability to turn into a cat, and the Super Bell power-up and also shared enemies like the Goombas with cat ears, the big pecking birds that fall down and try and peck you, plus the marching band enemies. However, that is kind of where the comparisons stop. The story in Bowser's Fury is that Bowser Jr. He needs your help to save his father, Bowser. So Mario initially looks pretty reluctant to help, you know, given he's been a pain in his side for about 35 years. However, after little to no convincing, Mario agrees to help. So Mario has to collect cat shines to remove the dirty goop from the cat lighthouses to save Bowser from whatever happened to him. So Mario has a 3D open map to explore across a series of little connected islands. And you can pick and choose which areas to explore and the set pieces and mini puzzles here are really, really fantastic. The objective here is to collect the cat shines and open up the giant bell power up in the middle of the map. And that's going to help you with your battles against Mega Bowser, who's stalking from the sidelines. So Bowser Jr, he's your slightly reluctant sidekick in the game and you can also play two player two, similar to Super Mario Odyssey where one player takes on the role of a supporting character rather than full blown co-op like Super Mario 3D World. Bowser's Fury is much more of a 3D Mario adventure with an open world that you can explore and on occasions it's going to start to rain and then a massive angry Bowser is going to pop in from the background and start attacking the area with fireballs and other projectiles too. Bowser has probably never been this intimidating in a Mario game, 
Once you collect enough cat shines, you're going to then be able to grab the power up in the middle of the map and grow to a massive size too, and you'll be able to battle Bowser one on one. So the gameplay is really, really fun, and there's a lot of connections here to Super Mario 3D World from a stylistic point of view, but also some of the gameplay elements too. And it feels much more like Super Mario Odyssey, albeit without the use of Cappy. So Plessy makes a return from 3D World to help you swim and complete some tasks in the water, and Bowser interrupting can be a little bit annoying at times, especially if you're high up, you may get knocked down all the way to the lower levels. But it's a small thing when compared to the overall fun you're going to have with Bowser's Fury. Super Mario 3D World alone was enough to convince me to get this package, given I'd missed it the first time round. I highly recommend this game if you haven't played it, and I also recommend playing in co-op. For me, it was great to play through with the misses. You know, we've tried other co-op games before, but they've never felt quite as good as this one. Bowser's Fury is a short but sweet outing for Mario. It kind of feels like something that was created in a short space of time in lockdown by Nintendo to give to its audience as an incentive to buy 3D World. And I'm definitely not against Nintendo experimenting with these shorter titles, and there's some really nice innovative gameplay moments here too. So the game was developed by Nintendo, it's available for Nintendo Switch, and it was originally released on the 12th of February 2021. Well that's it for my review of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, and as always, thank you so much for watching, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Yeah.